neither kings nor queens nor royal marines, but twenty-eight old friends. Hi guys, welcome to the workshop. Um, I just thought I'd let you know a little bit of an upgrade that I'm uh, going to carry out over the next day. Um, to my solar kit to be honest because the panel you're looking at at the moment it's a 13 watt solar panel it's not bad but it uh, it just isn't capable of doing what I want it to do and that's sort of running a fridge and uh, sort of top power top ups for phones and stuff like that it's just uh, not up to the mark it's, uh, it won't provide the charge and allow me to run kit but uh, I suppose what do I expect for a 13 watts so what I've done on recommendation from somebody else is I'm going to upgrade uh, to a 120 watt panel which uh, came the other day and it's in that box there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the panel out and show you it's set up and then in another video I'll, uh, I'll show you how my setup's going to work. Lovely job. Anyway, cheers guys, I'll see you in a minute. Right guys, it comes in that, because uh, it's a fold away panel it's two uh, 60 watt panels that uh, are hinged in the middle, uh, but I'll show you that in a middle. But uh, it comes in this nice uh, heavy duty uh, bag, which allows me to keep it protected a little bit and uh, sort of get it out and use it quite quickly. Uh, there's the sort of the maker of the panel, and uh, I'll put the link in to this in the description box below. But those are the people that actually. Uh, sort of distribute the panel and uh, what I'll do is I'll get it up, get it out, set it up and let you see it. Cheers for now. There's a panel out of the uh, bag, there's a panel there and there's a panel on the other side but uh, as you're taking the trouble to look at this I thought I'd uh, show you it warts and all. We've got a, a carrying handle here which is spring loaded so that's uh, nice and robust and two lucky locking catches, one there and one there, you have a funny angle I know. As you can see it's a really nice aluminium clad um, frame with uh, protectors on the end and stuff like that. But, uh, and it, uh, I'm quite impressed so far. Um, I haven't used this one yet but uh, I've seen my mates working and put the voltmeter on it and stuff like that. But uh, I'll carry on setting this up and then I'll let you have another view. Right guys, just moving on to the sort of next stage. As you can see, that's the back of the panel. And uh, working from one side to the other, you've got here one of the support legs. And then you've got the charge controller in the middle. Five metres of cable, all curled up at the moment. A positive and negative crocodile clip. And then the various other wiring loom there and the, uh, the other supporting panel. But what I'll do is I'll uh, set it all up and uh, let you have a look at it. As you can see, I'm, I'm actually in my workshop at the moment, no doors open, and it's still taking a bit of a charge there, or it's uh, sensing the light, etc. But uh, bear with me and I'll uh, get it set up and show you what it looks like. Right guys, there it is on the floor of the workshop. Um, just sits there, supporting itself on its own legs. Decent weight to it, so it's not going to blow away. A couple of times my other one blew away, or blew over I should say not blew away um, and we're just working off the uh, the light in the workshop but it certainly is a really nice robust piece of kit and should last me for years and the idea is it's going to be connected up to a couple of 12 volt batteries and then uh, that will provide the power to run either phone top-ups and stuff like that, or um, run the fridge. Anyway guys, hope uh, that was of use. And I'll just uh, bring you down so you can see there's the legs deployed. And what I'll do is I'll, uh, I'll do another video soon of it all set up and in place. Cheers guys, and that's from Titan Energy, a UK firm. Cheers. Guys, one thing you also get is a sort of a set of instructions on how to wire it up. Um, 
what it's all about, what how to do it, what's the maximum wattage and stuff like that. Um, what I'm going to do with this is, there's a little diagram on how to wire it up and where it goes to etc. But what I'm going to do with that is I'm going to laminate that and stick it in the bag so I've got it forevermore, just in case it's not me. Um, if I'm honest with you, the reason I bought this, um, as well as seeing it working, is the price. Um, I'll let you compare the price against similar types, but uh, this was sort of fifth, between 50 and 80 quid cheaper of something very similar. So that's why I went for it. Uh, obviously, money in our pockets is better than anything else, isn't it? So, uh, yeah, on that, guys, I'll put this up and I'll... Uh, I'll leave you to uh, troll the internet and see what you can find. Cheers. Right there, there's a solar panel set up. Quite a dull overcast day. Hopefully you can see and hear that. Fridge is running and has been for about an hour. It's starting to get cold, cool. You can see there that that's taken a taken a charge and it's got a load in it and that's running through that so that's 12 volt obviously it's a bit of a messy setup but I've only just set it up and set up a voltmeter so you can see that just under the 12 volts and then I've got a 300 watt inverter connected up to me phone and see if it works. There we go. That's all connected up. Phone's taking a charge. Hopefully you can see bear with me. Yeah you can see that's taking a charge in there. So yeah, it's a bit messy at the moment, but uh, obviously with the using the inverter, I can run that straight from the panel itself if I want to. Because it does come, it does come with, it does come with its own 12 volt power lead. Sorry about that. But yeah, all in all, I'm happy with that. I suppose the proof of the pudding is in the eating, but I uh, shall leave that uh, running. And drop from 11.97 to 9.4. So we uh, got happy with that. I'll just uh, bring you back in a second and show you how I've connected the batteries up. Right then, just move the uh, inverter and the, solar, the, the lid for this box. Obviously disconnected that so it's back up. But nice simple uh, connections. That's an old car battery, van battery off me van, and that's a leisure battery. And it's taken a charge nicely, and also still got the fridge running. Going to tidy everything up now, and that's going to be a semi sort of portable system so that every time I go out camping or out in the woods with the vehicles, I can take it with me. All, all in the box set up like that so it's fairly self-contained a bit heavy but uh, oh, that's been of uh, use and a bit of interest to everybody cheers then we served our country and I served the trumpet call take us back to Gloucestershire most glory